Yo, yo, welcome back. Today, get that going first. That's sticky. Today, we're looking at the T5 S3 e paper, 4.7 inches mobile device that does a lot. Uh, this is by Lilygo. They did send this to me for free. There is the packaging right there. And I've had this now for about three to four weeks. And they were on pre-order. They just went up for sale. So now they are like legit for sale. I believe they are $74, $75 USD. When I did the video on the T-Embed CC1101, they were $34. About two days after my video was released, they jumped up to $55. So I'm not saying that you do need to get one right away. But I am saying that be aware of that, that. Supply and demand, when something kind of goes popular, prices usually jump up. Hopefully that is not the case on the, on the T5S3 e-paper. We're gonna just call it the T5S3 because saying that whole long name is just too much, but uh, I wanted to showcase this thing off because it is pretty cool of what it does. So I have, like I said, I've had it for a few weeks now and let's just move some things out of the way. So this is the unit right here. It is about the size of a, iPhone, this is iPhone Pro 15. You can see that they are almost identical in size and in thickness. This is very, very light. And then in the back side, there are two little groove clips. So this is a very unique device because they have some really cool things on it. You can see here that we have mag charging. This is a ESP32. S3, and it also has LoRa. So when firmware is developed for this, we can expect to see Mesh-tastic um, and any other kind of your basic LoRa services on this device. Uh, it has these screw holes right here, which I'm, I find kind of interesting. I, I And then some down here. Almost like it's like a modular system that they're looking at possibly doing. I don't know. I have no insight, uh, no secret intel, but I find that interesting on those little screw holes. And then right here on the side, we've got our, uh, we've got a boot and then we've got an IO48 on that side. And then this side we have a power and then we have an RSC for reset. Uh, we have our SD card slot right there. And then on the bottom we have USB-C and then we have a, some kind of attachment that can go in there as well. And then uh, on the top, we have these two little screw holes. Like I said, don't know why they would do that, but this is what they're for is these little is these little uh, screws that have this little D-ring on them. And then one over there as well. I don't know if you want to wear the, the freaking lanyard, that'd be kind of weird, but I don't know why they're in there, but cool, right? Whatever. Let's see here. That's the unit right there. That is the back. Bottom view, the other side view, and then the top view. Powering it on, we're just gonna just power it on. All you gotta do is hold power. Now we have clock, we have LoRa, SD card settings, test, Wi-Fi, battery, and shutdown. Now, the firmware that came on this, the stock firmware is very, very, very minimal. Like there's not a lot that's working. Um, clock, I believe, is working if you set it. We've got a calendar there as well. And then you can see that we also have a clock. Let's go back out of there. Let's go ahead and check out LoRa. Send time interval, so five second frequency. We can change our frequency on this, it looks like. Uh, this is currently for 850 megahertz. Uh, that's Europe, I'm in the US, so I'll need to be at 915. And then we have bandwidth, we have spreading factor, uh, we have output power, um, and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, it's flashing because it's trying to send. It's trying to send something. Uh, SD card, you can put SD card in there and I don't know what you can do with that yet. I haven't put one in there. Settings. Under setting, we have the backlight, refresh cycle, and the refresh time test. Uh, we have RTC, touch, LoRa, SD card, and then Wi-Fi. Um, the Wi-Fi, we'll get to that here in a second, but I have not been able to use the Wi-Fi. So if I go to LoRa, can you, I don't know if these are selectable or not. I don't think they are, not yet. Uh, Wi-Fi. So here we can, Scan, there is an app apparently. It is the ESP Touch app for Android or iOS. I tried the app on my iOS uh, to connect this to my home Wi-Fi just to see if I can get anything. It wasn't going through. I didn't try it on Android, but um, 
again, this is very, very stock. This is very, very like beta stuff. And then battery, we got our battery parameters. Uh, so charge, VBUS, uh, battery system, VBAT, volt target, uh, charge current, yada, yada, yada. So it does have a lot of really cool stuff for the battery display. What we're gonna do today though is Mr. B. Morselli, who if you watched my video on the T-Embed CC1101 versus the Flipper Zero, he just released as of last night or this morning, he released a launcher for the T5S3 e-paper. So we're gonna go ahead and install that launcher today and see what has changed. So let's figure out how to flash this guy. So we're gonna go to the bmorselli.github.io slash m5 stick dash launcher forward slash. So let's go ahead and hit that. Let's go to Lilygo. And here we can see all of the devices that he has. So we've got the T deck. This is a T deck, by the way. I've had this guy for a while too. This is my second one. I just haven't set this one up yet. So it's, believe it's brand new and yeah. And so T Display S3 Pro. We have the T Display S3 Touch, the T Embed, the T Embed CC1101. We have the T5E Paper S3 Pro only. We go to Connects, and we can see here that we are on a USB J Tag serial. Click on that guy, hit Connect, and we're gonna probably need to throw this, into, this thing into boot before we can install the flasher. We'll see. Installing fail to initialize. So try resetting your device or holding boot while clicking install. Okay. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to get most LilyGo devices into boot. Really, really, really difficult. It's not difficult. You're going to hold boot while plugging in your USB C that goes to your computer. So let's go ahead and hold boot. Plug that guy in, go there, connect, install, install. Let's see if that worked. I failed at that, so let's try that again. Try boot again, we're gonna unplug, I'm gonna hold boot down, and this time I'm not gonna let it go until after I press everything. So, got a boot held, go to connect, USB JTAG serial, connect, Install T5E Paper S3 Pro, and then install. Installing, failed to, okay, so we failed again. Let's go, maybe we got a whole reset too. So let's hold reset and boot. Install, install. Serial port is not ready, okay. That's different, let's go to connect. I'm gonna unplug this guy. We're gonna hold reset and boot. And then we're gonna wait. I'm gonna let go of reset. Still holding boot. Install, install. Erasing, there we go. Okay, so to flash this guy, hold reset and boot, plug in USB. Release, reset, keep holding boot, and then go and click install, at least on Mac. That's gonna do its thing, it's installing. We're at 5%, we're wrapping up already. All right, we have done that. Now I'm gonna unplug this. And we're kind of on a frozen screen here, it looks like. You can see this under the battery data down below and then we've got this overlay of where we were at earlier in the settings this, uh, panel so plug in the unit and let's see what happens not then yet the reset there we go reset launcher what what so there we have we have now successfully installed the be more Selly launcher that's exciting because now what's next more than likely from Mr. B. Morselli, AKA Byrata is also one of the main developers for Bruce uh, along with another guy. So let's see, let's see what we have here. We have a SD card and then we've got over the air transmission. We've got WUI, which is web user interface, I believe. 
uh, SD card. We go next. What's next? Do oh, here we go. So <clears throat> we've got brightness. We got dim time. Dim time uh, avoid spiffs. We've got list of partitions. We have clear fat, safe spiffs, uh, backup fat, VF, VFS, reset spiffs, reset fat, VFS, restart the main menu. Let's go to main menu. See what happens there. Main menu. All right. Oh, so there there wasn't a page uh, config. That's exciting because, like I said, the next portion of this is going to be Bruce um, for the uh, T5 S3 Pro. Uh, Inc. Excited for this because the fact that we're going to get to have um, a handheld similar to the T Deck, but with a few other options that are going to be more in a smaller form factor like a like a like a phone you know again you know that's compared to a iphone go check out mr b morselli um he's on reddit a lot and then of course you know on github uh he has some really cool stuff that he's doing so i'm excited to see what's going to happen next with the t5e paper s3 pro go check out the t embed cc1101 i have some affiliate links in the description below for lilygo um, so if you do decide to purchase something from them, I get a small cut back from that. So thank you if you in advance for doing that. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you today with the S3 Pro e-paper. E uh, so stay tuned to the channel for future videos on that specific device, as well as the T Embed CC 1101, which I will be diving more into because now we have a lot more firmware version that have come out since my first video, which was like three or four months ago with the T, T embed CC 1101 versus Hyper Zero. So stay tuned for more of that. Guys, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. And thank you, Lily Go, for sending me these cool toys to play with. And I will see you guys in the next video.